education is the most important weapon to changing the world. Nelson Mandela. Welcome back to Henrico Happenings. I am Victoria Davis. And on this episode, we are talking all things graduation. We are pomps and circumstance here in the studio. And so today I have the Chief of Communications for Henrico County Public Schools, Miss Eileen Cox. Welcome, Eileen. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here to talk about graduation, one of our most exciting times of the school year. Oh, yeah. I think everybody is excited. Just it's celebration season and it's in the air. And I think the, the best part about this is that graduations is coming home into Henrico at the new Henrico Sports and Event Center. How excited are you guys? Oh my gosh, we are over the moon. We have loved graduations for the decades that we've been at the Siegel Center, but to be able to celebrate with our seniors and their families yeah. right down the street from their home school in Henrico is just going to be an all new and exciting experience for us. Yeah, who's to say, who could imagine, I guess, the day that we'll be able to do this in our own locality? It's, it's amazing. Right. And we've heard from some of our seniors uh, and some of the teachers as yeah. well that they say, oh, when I was little, I used to come here to the mall. And now whoever would have thought that I'd be graduating from here. And so it has that personal meaning to them as well. Yeah. And uh, I think it's just going to be a, a outstanding week of events. Yeah, this is great for the class of 2024. Mm -hmm. So I know the biggest thing right now that I think a lot of people are talking about is this parking and how are we all going to fit over at the new sports and event center. So explain us just the process about parking. So parking is, uh, you have to have a parking pass to park on site. Mm -hmm. Each student receives two parking passes for their families and invited guests. Um, now, there may be students who need to come to the event center separately from their families. And in that case, all of the high schools are offering bus transportation from the home school to the Henrico Sports and Event Center. So once you have identified and given out your passes to your family and guests, they just need to come on over. Brook Road uh, is probably going to be one of the most traveled roads yeah. in Henrico that day. We are partnering with Henrico and Hanover Police Departments to um, you know, try and reduce traffic through the timing of uh, traffic lights. There will be people throughout uh, the pathway to the center to lead you, to direct you uh, to parking areas, and also to check those passes far in advance so we don't have people who get all the way to the parking area and then are turned away because we know that can be really frustrating as well. Absolutely. And, of course, we know there will be parking for those that may be handicap accessible mm -hmm. um, available as well. Handicap accessible parking at the north end of the building. We have a drop-off area for students if you just need to drop your child off and then run home and pick up the rest of your family and come back. Uh, there's also a ride share drop as well. And mm -hmm. so, again, really that partnership with the Henrico Police Division and then RMC events on site, that's going to make it a much smoother uh, arrival and departure to the parking lot and uh, hopefully stress-free so that people can focus on celebrating with their with their children. That's wonderful. And talking about celebration, I know mm -hmm. because of parking and probably the long-distance walk, what are some things they are allowed to bring into the uh, graduation space? So first and foremost, let's talk about what you can't bring. No weapons of any kind. That includes pocket knives that you might ordinarily keep in uh, you know, a pants pocket or that might be attached to your keys. Make sure you take those off. Yeah. Every guest who arrives will be walking through uh, a weapon scanner similar to the ones that you see at uh, an amusement park or a large concert or sporting event. So we want to make sure you leave those at home. Uh, you can bring flowers, but our graduates cannot hold them on the floor, so you'll need to hold on to those in the stands. Okay. No noisemakers, uh, no big posters or signs. We're really going to be... Um, uh, making the most use of that space that we can. And so if you're holding up a, a, a large sign, you might be um, impeding the view of someone around right. you. So we just say bring some patience, bring, uh, you know, your best celebratory spirit and uh, get ready for the class of 2024. That's it. Loud screens and hand claps. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> exactly, exactly. And, you know, we always think about uh, you want to hear your child's name yeah. uh, called and have that moment to celebrate with them. So as our guests are clapping and, and cheering, we want them also to be mindful of the next person in line so yeah. that their family can hear their name and celebrate with them. Yeah, these are big classes that we have graduating each of our high schools. They so, are. Yeah, we want to be sure that everybody's recognized properly. So they that's are. that's fantastic. And it is, uh, the classes are so large that it is going to be um, one person, one seat. There aren't going to be extra seats in between families or extras in the crowd that, you know, if you pack uh, all of your ticket holders in there, there's not going to be any extra space available. Yeah. So we really just ask people to be uh, kind mm -hmm. and mindful that there are other guests. Let's start filling the rows from the center and work our ways out to the aisles uh, just to help with that uh, filling of seats and then getting people in and out of the venue easily. Right, right. That'll be a smooth process. And, mm -hmm. and we hope that's a big one. Pack your patience, I think, is the big thing out of all exactly, of this. Exactly, exactly. This new adventure for all of us, mm -hmm. for families, for students, and even the staff for the school system. So. Absolutely. But it's still going to be a good time. It is. So basically, I know we talked about things you can't bring, the parking, but mm -hmm. all of this information is found on the HCPS website. Yes, we have a graduation hub on our website. You can access it through the homepage, Henry. Henrico, schools.us uh, and there's a tab there that will take you to the graduation hub. It has maps of the venue. It has maps of parking. Uh, it has frequently asked questions and answers, uh, do's and don'ts, some tips for a successful celebration. So we have just about everything you need right there on the graduation hub for you. It's really resourceful. I tell you, when I was looking on it just to get some information, mm -hmm. it was like colorful and bright and eye-catching. And so if you go there, all the questions that you have can be answered on that website for sure. Um, and I know we are live streaming like we always mm -hmm. do. How can they find uh, those family members that may not be able to attend in person? Yep. How can they watch online? So same place, go to HenricoSchools.us. There'll be a live stream link on the homepage as well as the high school website. Mm -hmm. uh, you can click there. It will be live about 15 minutes before. We've got some um, some graphics and, and information about the class of 2024, some videos to share. Uh, you can check your audio and your picture in time. That's and then cool. when the graduation starts, you'll be good to go and we'll live stream the entire ceremony. And I would note that we actually kick off graduation season uh, May 20th yep. at uh, Tucker High School Auditorium. That's where our class of 2024 from Henrico Virtual Academy are graduating. Uh, that ceremony is not being live streamed, but it is being recorded and it will be posted online. So that is our first graduation that, that folks can visit and watch online uh, beginning the following day. Wonderful. And graduations go all the way up until May 31st. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Wonderful. we have the HVA and our Academy at Virginia Randolph graduations are happening next week at Tucker High School. And then all of our comprehensive high schools, the nine comprehensive high schools, will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of the following week. Wonderful. Oh, so a great week full of excitement, energy, a lot of work for you all, but definitely rewarding. For Worth sure. it. Worth every second. And, you know, you don't have to have a graduate to celebrate with our graduates. Yeah. We'll have pictures and videos on all of our social media channels at Henrico Schools. We'll have pictures and videos on our website. We encourage people to tag us in their photos using the hashtag HCPSGrad2024. Cool. And uh, then we can just see pictures far and wide and, yeah. and relatives can see them as well, see other smiling faces. I love that. Anything else you would like to share with our listeners? No, just want to, again, say thank you to the Henrico Police Division and Hanover Police and RMC Events and our partners with the county who are uh, helping us make this a successful celebratory event yeah. for our families and our students. We can't wait. That's right. Well, you guys, you heard it here first. All the information and details that you need for graduation can be found online on Henrico School's website. Um, all of, like I said, it's graphics and parking uh, graphics and tips. 
FAQs, all of that. So go read the website. And then if you do have to ask a question, you could call them um, at Central Office and ask your questions there as well. But it's been great to have you, Eileen. And I'm looking forward to watching the, the graduations on live stream. I don't have any graduates that I know of this year, but I'm celebrating with everybody. You so. can watch. You can come and visit us. We'll have some work for you to do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Henrico Happenings. We'll see you next month. Bye.